So this is the fourth part of the calculus video series and in the previous video we addressed how to find the gradients at a specific point. This time we need to see well what if we have the gradient but we don't know which point gave us that gradient. Um, in this case the only challenging thing with this part is to understand the wording of the question otherwise the, sol the solving is quite simple. Um, so let's start with an example. So if I have an equation, say y equals 2, um, 2x squared plus 3x, and I tell you find the value of x where, or such that, dy by dx equals to 11. Now they could say where dy by dx equals to 11, they could say where the gradient is 11. So they could use any of either this or this, you just need to be comfortable. Remember that dy by dx, gradient, derivative, differentiation, they all mean the same thing. Um, so what this means is that you, you need to differentiate the function. And the, what it's saying is that the derivative is equal to 11. So let's find the derivative and make it equal to 11. So the derivative, which is dy by dx, for the first term it's 4x, and then the second term will be 3. Now we need to force this to be equal to 11. And we need to find what x should I have substituted here to give me 11. Um, if you are not comfortable with solving equations, whether it's linear equations, quadratic equations, um, even cubic equations, I would recommend you take the time to actually practice these as these are prerequisites for calculus. Um, now, um, I'll be subtracting 3, this looks like a division, um, I'll, be, I'll be using the balancing method to solve these. You can use your own method, but I'm more comfortable with the balancing method. So if I subtract negative 3 here, I can get rid of this positive 3. But because it's an equation, everything I do on one side, I need to do on the other side. And so I end up with 4x equals 2. This cancels out, so I end up with 11 minus 3, which is 8. And then to cancel out this 4, I need to divide by 4. But I need to do it on the other side as well. So I end up with x equals to 2. Which means that if I substitute, and you can easily check your answers for these. If I substitute 2 back in, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3, that's 11. Which means for this function, which looks like this, at precisely 2, the gradient, or the gradient of the tangent at that point, is 11. So this is what this means. Um, so that's basically it. You are equating the function. Um, let's say you had, you can pause this video and try this question, if you had 4x um, cubed plus 7 and you need to find x such that dy by dx equals to 4. So um, you're gonna go, well I'm gonna derive this first so 3 times 4, that's 12, and then x to the power of 2. And then the derivative of this will be 0. Well, we need to force this to be equal to 4. Um, and then I'm going to divide by 12 on both sides. So I'm going to end up with x squared equals to 4 over 12. And I can simplify this to 1 over 6. Sorry, I can simplify this to 1 over 3. And then I have x is equal to the square root of 1 over 3, which is same as saying the same as saying 1 over the square root of 3. Um, I kind of changed this question from what I had. It was meant to be power of 2, which would have given you a nice answer. Um, but it doesn't matter. You will get some points that are actually weird. Um, maybe not some past paper questions, but it is normal to have such values. The point is you know how to solve these equations. Um, and the final answer, the po I wanted to end up with a, quadrat uh, a quadratic function because 
your answer will have to be a plus minus um, because you're taking the root. Whenever you take the root of something, your answer will be a plus minus. So the solution to this will be either a positive 1 over square root of 3 or a negative 1 over square root of 3. So in this graph, which might look something like this, at the values of, say, this is negative 1 over 3, this is a positive 1 over 3, one, sorry, square root of 3, um, the tangents at this point will have the same gradient. So it is normal to have points that have the same gradient, um, but you have to put the plus minus in there to show that there are two points. And you only put the plus minus if you're taking a, um, an even root or a square root or the fourth root or the sixth root. So it has to be an even root or just consider it as the root. You won't get anything beyond um, taking the fourth root anyway. So... Uh, rarely have I seen cube roots as well. So that is in terms of actually finding the points. So you you can find the points, which is x, but then the questions might advance further to actually finding the coordinates. So if they want the points, you can find, if they want the value of x, you can find it, but if they want the coordinate where the derivative is 11, well, don't worry too much. Think about finding the x first. And then in order to find the coordinates, remember that you have to substitute in the original function. So to find y, you sub in the original. So you go, well, if my x is 2, then the y will be 2, 2x two squared plus 3. Two. And the 2 comes from, well, we found the 2 here. So 2 squared, remember, you're going to do 2 squared first. So this will be 4. And then 3 times 2, which is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. And 6, and that will be 14. Which means that the coordinates here is 2, 14. So this is what it means when you need to find the coordinates. So you can try it for here as well. So we got a 1 over the cube root of 3. But then you'll have to do one substitution, find the coordinates for this, and then do it again and find the coordinates for this. So uh, one time you're going to take the 1 over cube root of 3 and you're going to substitute it here. And you're going to find the y, and that will be a coordinate. And then you're going to do it a second time. You're going to substitute the back end. You're going to find the y coordinates. You can do that in your own free time. Um, and that's it for this video. Um, this will be up to here in terms of finding the gradient um, or finding the points at a gradient. The next video um, will use all of these facts. So we're building up calculus more and more now.